everybody, it's Professor Williams, and we're going to look at the fundamentals of probability law in this video. So the most fundamental of all probability laws is that the probability of any event, E, will fall between 0 and 1. In other words, between 0% and 100%. So when we look at this, 0% generally means that the outcome we're looking for does not exist in our sample space, where 100% mostly means that an event has already occurred or it's absolutely certain. So an example of this 0% is, let's say that I roll this pair of die, and I roll them one time, and I add up the numbers shown on the die, and I want to know what's the probability of me rolling a 13. Well, that probability is 0, because I know that 6 and 6 are my highest numbers, so the best I could do is 12. 13 isn't one of my possible outcomes, so the probability of success is 0%. Let's look at the probability of a single event being 1 as something that's already occurred. So we look at the sun coming up. Well, the probability that the sun will come up tomorrow is probably something like 99.99% repeating. But somewhere out here, there's this very small probability that it might not come up. I mean, heck, it could have gone supernova. And so for these probabilities of 1 for a single event, they tend to be things that have already happened, and they're absolutely certain. Now let's look at the second law. So the second law of probability tells us that the sum of the probabilities of all possible outcomes from an experiment must sum to 1 or 100%. So I love to play golf, and I love to play golf with colored golf balls. And I like that because then I can find them when they go into the woods. So in my golf bag, I have 20 red, 10 orange, 5 yellow, and 15 pink golf balls. So that means I have 50 golf balls in my bag. No wonder it's so heavy. So if I reach in and randomly select a golf ball, the probability of getting me a red is 20 out of 50, which is 40%. And the probability of me getting an orange one is 10 out of 50, which is 20%. Likelihood of me getting a yellow golf ball is just 5 out of 50, which is simply 10%. But I have 15 out of 50 probability of getting a pink, which is 30%. So these were all of my possible outcomes, red, orange, yellow, or pink. And the sum of all these probabilities, 50 over 50, which is the same as saying 100%, which is the same thing as 1. So the sum of the probability of all possible outcomes for probability experiment will sum to 1 or 100%. Just one more law to go. So the complement rule of probability simply states that the probability of E, the probability of an event, can be found by taking 1 minus the probability of not E. So this E with the asterisk, oftentimes rep represented as E bar, this means not E. So the probability of E is equal to 1 minus the probability of not E. So if I look at the probability of snow on one day is given us as 20%. Then I just say 1 minus the probability of snow will give me 0.8, which is the probability of no snow. Same way as if I say the probability of no snow is 80%, I can take 1 minus the probability of no snow. And I know now I've got a 20% chance of it snowing, or the probability of snow. So we use this idea of um, all probabilities adding up to 1. And so the other thing is I know that the probability of snow plus the probability of no snow 
has to equal 1. And that's what we refer to as the complement rule of probability. As always, I hope you found this useful, and thanks so much for watching.